हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द लेक्चर वॉक ट्रेल पाथ सर्किट एंड साइकिल इन दिस लेक्चर वी कम टू नो अबाउट दिस वॉक ट्रेल पाथ एंड ऑल बट बिफोर स्टार्टिंग दैट वी शुड कम टू नो व्हाट आर द एडजेसेंट वर्टिसेस सो एडजेसेंट वर्टिसेस आर टू वर्टिसेस दैट आर कनेक्टेड बाय एन एज आर कॉल्ड एडजेसेंट वर्टिसेस सो फॉर एग्जांपल दिस वन इज अ ग्राफ हियर इफ वी कंसीडर वी1 and v2 these two vertices connected by an edge hence we can say v1 and v2 are the two adjacent vertices similarly if we consider v2 v3 it is connected by an edge e2 so v2 and v3 are the adjacent vertices if we say v5 and v3 v5 and v3 are not directly connected that's so why v3 and v5 are not adjacent vertices so a vertex is said to be adjacent to itself if it is an end point of a loop in the graph if in a graph any loop is exist then for the loop the starting point and the end point both are same that's why we can say v2 is adjacent to itself now it is the adjacent edges adjacent edges means two or more edges incident on the same vertex are called adjacent edges if we consider the vertex v1 here the edge e1 e8 and e5 these three are the adjacent edges for the adjacency an edge is said to be incident on its end points any edge means it is incidenting to the two vertex any edge suppose e1 it is incidenting to the two vertex v1 and v2 so that is called the incident on the vertex v1 and the vertex v2 this all these thing these all definitions are required to know what is the walk now what is walk a walk is defined as a finite sequence of adjacent vertices and edges beginning and ending with vertices such that each edge is incident to its end vertices for example this one is a graph in this graph here total five vertices are given v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 e1 e2 are the parallel edges and e6 is the self loop now walk means the combination of vertices and the edges in such a manner so that a walk should starts from a vertex and it has to be ended to a vertex because one edge without the vertex have no existence so now let we consider a walk it is v1 e1 so v1 e1 v2 e4 v3 come back to v2 so it is e4 v2 then e2 and v1 so look it starts with a vertex it ended to a vertex it is the repeated combination of the vertex edge vertex edge vertex edge like this this one is a walk in a walk any vertex may repeat any number of time any edge may repeat any number of time another example of the walk is v2 e3 v5 e5 v4 e6 v4 e5 v5 so these are the examples of the work in this way we can draw lots of works in a work next is the length of the work so length of the work is very important length of the work means in a work how many edges are included that count is the length of the work if we consider the first work then its length is 1 2 3 4 so its length is 4 and for the walk b its length is 1 2 3 and 4 now it is the closed walk closed walk is what if a walk starts from a vertex suppose it is v1 and it will end it at the same vertex that is v1 then it is called the closed walk and the open walk is what if it starting and the end vertex are two different vertices then it is called the open walk so closed work is here a and open work is here b 
Next it is the trail. So what do you mean by the trail? A trail is a walk where no ages are repeated. In a walk we will find out that any number of vertices, any number of ages may repeat any number of time. But in a trail no ages are repeated. So for example if this one is the graph then we construct a trail. Here it is V1, E1, V2, E2, V3, E3, V4, E8, then again V4, E4, V5, E7 and V4. So look here V4 repeats 1, 2, 3 number of times but no ages are repeated. So this one is a trail. Similarly V1, E1, V2, E2, V3, E6, V1. This one is a another trail. So again similarly we can calculate the length of the trail also. So the length of the trail is Again the same way the number of ages involved in a trail. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 if it is the trail A. And if the trail B we consider then its length is 1, 2 and 3. If it's in a trail the starting and the ending vertex are two different vertex then it is called the open trail. And if its starting and the end vertex are same for the second one then it is called the Close trail. One more important thing regarding the trail is that if you have the closed trail, then closed trail is called the circuit. Yes, closed trail is called the circuit. That means if we start from a vertex and we proceed, and after whole traversing, if you will come back to the same vertex, here your vertex may be repeat any number of times but no ages can be repeated then this one is forming the circuit now it is the path so what do you mean by the path a path is a trail or walk where no vertices are repeated so in a trail we will find out that that is a walk where no ages are repeated and in the path we will find out that here no vertices are repeated no vertex repeated means Age is definitely not repeated. For example, if we have the same graph, then from here we can consider a path like V1, E1, V2, E2, V3, E3, V4, E4, V5. So look, this one is a path we may consider. So length of this path is 1, 2, 3, 4 in the similar way. The length of this path is the 4. Now here the closed path will not happen. Because a path means here no vertices are repeated. If any vertex starting or ending, if these two vertices even repeated, then it is no more the, no more obey the definition of the path. That's why closed path such things will not happen. So what happens if for uh, instance, here for here we have the path ended up to v5 so after v5 if e5 and v1 we include here suppose e5 and v1 if we include these two here then what happens here the all vertices are occurring exactly once except the vertex v1 which is the end vertex in this entire path if you will have this type of situation then this one is called the cycle so what do you mean by the cycle so a path may be a closed path as end vertices are repeated in a closed path but if in a path starting and ending vertex are same then it is called a cycle or a simple circuit after that we have two more definitions one is the connected graph a graph is called connected a graph is called connected if there exists at least one path between every pair of vertices in the graph. So what do you mean by the connected graph? So in the connected graph, whatever be the graph you have, you just choose any two vertex from this and you will find out that in between these two vertices, there definitely a connection or a path. Then it is called the connected graph. For the disconnected graph, if there is no path between at least 
any one pair of vertices then the graph is called disconnected graph for example for example let this one is the entire graph here v1 v2 v3 v4 v5 v6 v7 v8 so total eight vertices are given in this graph so in this graph this one is called the disconnected graph because if we want to go from v2 to v5 then there is no connectivity if we want to go from v2 to v8 then there is no connectivity if we want to go from v6 to v8 then then there is no connectivity so there are so many vertices so many pair of vertices are exist where no connectivities are there no paths are there so this is called the disconnected path then the component of a graph component of a graph is the thing which we come from the disconnected graph every disconnected graph exists of consists of each of these connected subgraphs is called the component of a graph so what do you mean by the component of a graph any graph if it is disconnected that means it have minimum two parts or more than two parts so these are called the components of the graph so in this graph 1 2 and 3 these three are the components so in this graph there are total three components exist and component we can denote it by the sign k for this graph the number of k is 3 if a connected graph is there then the k value is 1 always for a connected graph for a connected graph so depending upon this component we will conclude something so special notes are here so the first thing is a simple graph with n vertices and k components cannot have more than n minus k into n minus k plus 1 divided by two edges we know that a connected graph have maximum a connected graph a connected simple graph and if it is a complete graph then it have maximum number of edges or exactly the number of edges are n into n minus 2 by n into n minus 1 by 2 when it is when it is the connected graph connected graph means its number of components are one and if in this formula we substitute k is equals to 1 then we will find out n minus 1 then n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2 so this one so here if we simplify we will find out n into n minus 1 by 2 so if it is a connected graph then this is the number of edges maximum number of edges if it is a simple graph and if it is a disconnected graph then depending upon the number of components we will have this is the total number of edges which a which a disconnected graph may have now the second note is what that is if a graph g may be connected or may be disconnected has exactly two vertices of odd degree then there is a path joining these two vertices if a graph is connected or disconnected whatever it be if you will have exactly two vertices with odd degree then definitely there is a connection between these two graphs so suppose this one is the graph so look here its degree is 2 its degree is 2 its degree is 2 its degree is 3 and its degree is 1 and this graph exactly two vertices are there which have the odd degree so definitely there should be an connection without that connection you can't draw the graph the minimum number of edges in a connected graph with n vertices is n minus 1 that is again very true the minimum number of edges in a connected graph a graph is connected with n number of vertices now if a graph connected with n number of vertices then n vertex among that if we consider any one that it has to connect with the remaining n minus 1 vertices then only it is connected otherwise not that's why we say the minimum number of edges in a connected graph with n number of vertices is n minus 1 
one more conclusion is a simple graph with n vertices must be connected if it has more than n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 2 edges so if you have a simple graph with n number of vertices it is a connected graph you can see if you will find out that its edge count is more than n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 2. That's all for today. Thank you.